first live show we're having since we started the female billionaires by 40 club by the way if you are not in the club you are missing because what we started is exciting it is a great opportunity that no female entrepreneur out there should miss and those who are in the club already will need to agree with me <laughs> okay so um what is female billionaires by 40 club it is a support and learning community for female entrepreneurs all right that is one of the challenges we have as entrepreneurs you know seven out of ten businesses you know close or come to an end before the third year anniversary and you start wondering why the truth is that so many people don't know what to do to start with the right businesses to go into you know they don't do their research properly they don't have a plan they don't have a support group you know they don't have a mentor you know and the right team to back them up these are many more uh, the factors we'll be offering and the benefits of being a member of the club all right so I'll just you know break it down a little the 17 benefits of being a member of the club the first is you get to be coached while doing your business you know sometimes you're 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 doing stuff and you're not sure if you're doing the right thing Sometimes you don't even know what to do in business. That's why you go to some places and you see entrepreneurs sleeping. Trust me, as an entrepreneur, if you know what to do, you will not be sleeping in your office. Because there's a lot to do to build your business. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about laying a, um, a solid foundation for your business today. Okay, but I'm just going to talk about the benefits first of being a member of the club. You get a monthly training on one skill each month. We pick a, um, a particular skill that we think most members of the club need to build um, themselves in and we train them like a two to five hours training once a month and then two weeks challenge every month so everybody in the club needs to partake in the challenge. And then we monitor your progress. And you have a one-on-one -on -one coaching with us not just that right now we are 745 members of the club all right and we are growing every day every second members of the club know that there is no um hour that passes by without someone joining the club so we are growing very soon we are going to get to um 1000 and by the way the link is going to be revoked on the first of july so if you want to be part of the pioneers of the club you need to click on the link in my bios before the first of july because i'm going to close it that very day like when the new month starts so back to what i was saying all right you have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with us you we check up on your business we monitor your progress because we are going to help you draft an implementation plan that you're going to use for your business all right and then we help you focus on the growth of your business it says show me the people you are with or the people you move around with and i'll tell you who you are so many entrepreneurs go to employees to ask for business advice and then that's where you hear ha, me business i not do a game eh? you know business has dealt with me I have not achieved success. I have wasted my money in business. Mm -hmm. How won't you waste your money in business when you don't know the right thing to do? And then the worst is the entrepreneur is coming to meet you. We go to advise the wrong set of people most of the time, and that's why we don't get solution to our problems. All right? In this group, you have everybody is an entrepreneur. You can talk to them. You can talk to your competitors. You can talk to people in other business sectors. You can even think of expanding your business or think up a new business from the knowledge you have gained there. There's really nothing as great as being in the same group with like minds. You know, they said you can achieve your crazy goals 
and still remain sane once you just have a support group. That's why we have the Weight Watchers, all the weight loss um, groups. That's why we have the Addicts groups, the AAA and all of that. That's why we even have the church groups. Because when you're in a group, you don't want to carry last. There was this weight loss group I joined, we're 80. You know, the exercise they, they tell us to do, it's, it's hectic. But the fact that every other person is posting done, exercise done, exercise dusted, the poisonous meal eaten. <laughs> you can't, you just ask yourself, please, is there something wrong with me? Do they have 10 heads? They don't have 10 heads. So if they can do it, I can do it. So that is the advantage of a support group. You come, you share your problems, you share your challenges, people talk to you about it, you know, and then you go on stronger, feeling like you have the right backup. Do you understand? There is no challenge you're experiencing in your business that another business owner has not experienced. So where would you share your challenges? Of course, where you have other entrepreneurs. Let me not just digress in any way. <laughs> you need all the support you can get on this journey. That's why you need to be in the club. We give you the inspiration and education you need. You get encouragement and moral support. We'll take you through every step of your business to ensure that you achieve success. The group will lift you up when you are down because you will definitely be down. You see this entrepreneurship journey, no be small journey at all. It's like alternating currents. You know, let me use my engineering background as an example. Today you're up, tomorrow you're down, next tomorrow you're halfway through. There are days where you would see no client at all. Nobody will come and say hello, hi. That's when you start wondering whether focus is from your village people. It isn't. That is the life of every normal entrepreneur. There was this um, chat I saw one day that an employee gets his salary steady at the end of every month. But it is a small bar, you know, that goes across every month, a small bar, every month, a small bar. And then they show the bar, the chart of an entrepreneur. At the beginning, it was at zero bar. Then it continued, it grew up. Tomorrow it will go down. Next tomorrow it will be tall. Another day it will be short. That is how it is. Some days, one person will just... You know, we'll just clear your doubts. Someone will just come and say, give me 100 of so, so, so and so products or 1,000. And you have been looking for clients for the whole month you didn't see. That is how this entrepreneurship journey is. So you need strong motivation to be able to carry on. You cannot do this on your own. We will avail you all the information relevant for your business. We will help you increase your network. Imagine having access to over a thousand women where else do you want to grow your business you know there'll be days where we're going to share our links there are days where we are going to support each other businesses apart from the fact that we are going to focus on our businesses we're also going to help everybody in the group to grow it's not just about me and an individual in the group it's about everybody helping everybody all right so you get to be part of the success stories of each, each of the group member. Imagine, you know, being in the same group with someone like Mark Zuckerberg 10 years ago. You know how we do it now? Ah, that man, I knew him when he had nothing. <laughs> That's how we're going to share our stories by the grace of God. <laughs> I'm excited about this whole thing. I don't know about you girls. Ladies, are you excited? Hi, Fechi. Let me say hi to... Hi, Sassy. Why? You tried correcting me this morning. I still don't know the pronunciation. Real Duchess, hello. <laughs> oh, my cakes, hello. It's so great to have you girls here. I'm so glad you guys could, could make it. I'm sure you had a hectic day, but you still found time to be here with me. Thank you so much. All right? So guess what? All this... All this just goes for the sum of 4,000 Naira monthly. You can imagine, it is, it's like we're practically offering this free of charge for you. But, and guess what? The first two weeks is going to be free of charge. I want you to, to know what you're going to experience for the remaining 5 to 10 years as a business owner when you are with us. So I'm giving you the opportunity to have two weeks free of charge. You know, someone might say, why are you not just giving it to us free of charge? I mean, 4,000 Naira is nothing. Where your money is, that's where your heart is. 
and I have noticed it. I am the founder of African Business Owners Group. It's a WhatsApp group where I used to teach them like this, you know, we used to share, we used to support and all of that. But I noticed that nobody appreciates anything that is free. When it's time for training, nobody shows up. When it's time for challenges, nobody shows up. You know, be wondering, I thought it's help, I'm helping people. Do you understand? So I need you to be focused on your business growth. I need you to be dedicated to this cause. And that is why we are making sure that you are putting your sweat into it as well. And it's not much, just 4,000 Naira. That's about uh, $10 thereabouts for those of you that are not in Nigeria. Um, Sasiwa, 4,000 Naira is about 60 Ghana CDs. Yeah, hi Ziva Cakes. Hi, your day to life. Thank you so much for being here. Right? Okay, so... Um, another exciting thing about being a member of this group is the Outgrower Scheme. Here we tend to merge people in the same value chain, like you're a producer, we have marketers, we have suppliers, we have processors, in case you're in the agri sector, something like that, in the same group. So we get to link you up with people that can buy your products. So you don't need to go far, like I told you, where else will you get market for your business, if not in a group that has over a thousand women? So you need to be there. Don't waste time anymore. So you have two weeks. You know, you have two weeks to make up your mind if you want to be with us or if you want to leave the group. I mean, you can come in anytime. You can leave anytime. Now, the criteria for being a part of this club is that you must be a female entrepreneur. Yes, if you are a lady and you don't have a business, I don't know what goals we share. Just that we don't really have things in common like other members of the group. So you might feel out of place. So that is why we said just entrepreneurs should be in this group. And then we said entrepreneurs in your early 30s, not that we're restricting it to just people in that range, but we want you to have a 5 to 10 years goal. And we are saying that by the age of 40, you must have achieved those goals that we are all setting, you know, together in the group. And that is why we said so. So if you're in your late 20, 20s and or in your late 30s, please feel free to join. Just click on the link in my bios. All right. So that's it. That's just it um, about this, um, about the club. So. This is our first session and we're going to be talking about laying a solid foundation for your business. I was talking to Sesiwa today, you know, we had a conversation on WhatsApp and I said 999 days is the number of days you need as a business owner to be able to say I have passed that foundation and now I can achieve success in my business. Nothing is going to hold me back. Most Entrepreneurs back out before three years in their business, like I said earlier on at the beginning of this um, of this show. You know, so it is a critical moment for every entrepreneur, and this is the time where you lay a solid foundation for your business, one that you can stand on and not be afraid. As we're talking together right now, I'm sure all of us are in one building or the other. Whether it is a house, an office, just a space. But most of us are somewhere, you know, with a roof over our head in a building. Why are we not looking at it and saying, God, when will this thing fall? I hope it's not going to fall on me. Because we are confident that we are staying in a solid foundation. All right? We are confident that this thing is not going to fall um, on our heads. In Kechi, you said, I didn't get the beginning info. Um, sorry, there's a recorded version. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to put it on IGTV. So you can go there and um, have a look from there, okay? So back to what I was saying. So you need a solid foundation for your business the same way you need a solid foundation for your building. So today I'm going to be mixing up my entrepreneurship skills and my engineering skills, you know, to make you understand what you need for your business and why you're having those challenges. You see, the thing with business is it is a small 
things that matter all right those those um small small things that we ignore in our business are the things that the successful ones are doing because if you sit down and ask yourself what is the real secret to achieving success these people that are successful in their businesses is it that they have a better educational background do they have a better team do they have more money is their business a better idea than mine and all of that you know sometimes we just get demotivated and we start asking ourselves questions and thinking of the next business to hop into the truth is success has a formula the same way if you want to lose weight there's a formula to eat if you want to achieve success in your business, there's a formula to eat if you want a happy family life there's a formula to eat first you need to know it then you plan how to implement it then you implement it for it to come out well so in the first 999 days of your business life you need to set out strategies to get a solid foundation and just as the foundation of a building is not visible yet it is the most important part of the building that is the same way the foundation of your of your business is the most important thing you need in your business now guess what what is the most important factor you need to consider when laying a solid foundation for your business it is you don't look elsewhere don't look at any other person and don't ask whether they have 10 heads they don't they have one head like you but what they did is they invested so much in themselves that as they are working they it's like money is working you know that kind of thing you, you know there are some people that when you see you say ah if i was a, an armed robber and i was you know i was stealing people i would steal this person because the person has so much in him or her and then you start wondering what's in do me there's nothing there's nothing wrong with you you just didn't invest the same amount of time and money he invested building himself you need to know everything about your business don't leave out anything one great mistake entrepreneurs make is they don't invest in knowledge so some of us take our businesses like a hobby where we just sit back and if today we see market, mm -hmm, tomorrow we don't see. Mm -hmm. Those successful business, they are investing money in important things such as capacity building, marketing, pimping their products, you know. That is what you should be doing right now. So the first step to having a solid foundation in your business is investing in yourself, ensuring that you have the right knowledge to embark on this journey because it is not an easy journey all right the second thing you need is if you go to a land now a plot of land that they are constructing they are constructing a building in or any construction site you go to one of the things you would see there after the foundation stage you know is a scaffold I'm sure most of us know what a scaffold is. It is what um, the people that are climbing up, you know, to work on the roof, the electrical, the wiring, the plastering of the upper part, anything that has to do with, you know, climbing up to work on the building. They use a scaffold to climb up. Now, every business has a scaffold. You need a solid business system for you to be able to to um, leave your business it's just like right now if you do not have a solid system you're holding your building you're holding you can't leave because once you leave it the building will fall so anybody that comes to say please come and hold come and hold let us all hold this building so this building does not fall that's not the way it ought to be the building ought to be able to stand by itself whether or not you are there to support it and that's the challenge we all have as entrepreneurs. Most of us do more work than we are expected to do. All right? We are so attached to our business and we don't know how to build the right team to support us. You know, so we just keep doing everything ourselves. 
all right i have spoken about this before in my um last two last two thursdays so i'm not going to really emphasize on this because that's not the main point all right now but the point is that your business must have a marketing system a sales system a fulfillment system and a support system I'm not going to speak too much English. Your marketing system are the processes you use to make sure people have access to your business. They see your products every day. What do you do? Is it word of mouth? Is it social media marketing? All those things. What are the processes involved in embarking on it? So that if you're not there, someone else can do it. What if your best employee, the employee that knows how to do these things, resigns tomorrow? what do you do all right you cannot depend on anybody in your business including yourself so there should be a written process of the the written document where the processes are written out on what to do at every given time okay somebody calls into your office the customer care person will just pick up the phone and say whatever he wants to say there's no guarantee that you get that client afterwards but if it has been well planned and thought of there's a higher percentage of you achieving success. So you have to write a pitch for your marketing team. You have to write a pitch for the customer care. When somebody calls in, if there is an email stating that they want a refund, what do your, what do your employees say? All these things should be written down. When a customer pays, what is the next process? When we need supplies, what is the approval process? Everything should be written down. Anybody that comes into the office should be able to pick up this book and read and say these are the things that they are doing and I need to start doing it for my own role. This is it. So when you write out all these processes, then you now start designating roles. Okay, this is for the accountant, this is for the procurement officer, this is for the customer care, this is for the marketer and all of that. Then you can now employ people that have the skills that can achieve these roles. That's the mistake we make. We employ people and now start looking for what to give them. Do you understand? You say, um, I think I need a marketer. Or, ah, that's my sister with the village. I think it's high time I call her to come to Abuja. When she comes, what will I give her? Let her just come and do marketing in my... Does she have the right skills? If you want to run a charity organization, please don't call it a business. However, if you want to run a business, do it the right way. So identify all the processes, the activities involved in your business, then identify the roles of the people who are going to handle these activities, then assign it to someone who has the right skills. All right? That's the scaffold for your business. And then the main thing that brought me here today. Do you have a business plan? It will amaze you the number of businesses that do not have a business plan. Now, your business plan is like the columns of the building. Remember, we're using a construction site here as an example. All right. Hi, Abo, Randy. Hi, Randy. <laughs> oh, the dog is loud. I don't even know how to tie his mouth. Pardon me, please. All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. So let me continue. Do you have a business plan for your business? It is very important. It is the, the backbone, the columns. You know, before you start putting the roof and if you want to um, do the decking, you want to have a duplex or um, story buildings, you need to put columns to support the, um, the roof and all of that. If you don't do that, you will get stuck. It might fall. You know, that's exactly what happens to businesses because we do not have a business plan. If you are about embarking on a journey to a new place, because as far as we are concerned, success or business success is a new place for most small businesses. You need a guide. You need like Google Map. You need someone who has been there before to take you through. And that is where a mentor comes in and that is where a business plan comes in as well. So the column, which is the backbone of your building, are 
your coach and your business plan yeah we all know the the use of a coach right which is what i am doing right now now back to the business plan you don't just wake up in the morning and write a checklist for your business and think that's all you need because you need to walk from your business plan this is how it goes you plan you implement you monitor and control then you upscale that is to say that you start up a business the first thing you do is to plan on how to achieve the objectives of the business then when you finish the plan you start implementing from the plan when you are implementing the plan you are still monitoring and making sure you're not going off track by the time you achieve your objectives you now plan something larger that is like an expansion plan that is what we call an upscale okay so you need to start with a plan now let me give you 10 simple steps um you need to write a simple business plan however this is not just about this is like a summary because if you're a member of the club you will get a video like a two three minutes video every day on what you should do concerning your business plan because that's the first thing we're going to be handling the first one week writing a solid business plan for our business first your business plan must have the vision statement the vision statement is not just for you the vision statement is for your team members the vision statement is for investors the vision statement is for every your suppliers everybody that is involved in your business need to know where you are going yes it's important and it's really nothing to hide in fact brian tracy and stephen covey will tell you that you should write it down boldly and keep like at the front office anybody walking in should see that let everybody know where you're heading they would help you to achieve that success that is where you start seeing opportunities people you know things that will lead you in that direction because they all they are all clear about where you are heading now what is the vision statement it is a statement that simply tells you where you are going to be 10 years from now that's use 10 years since we are saying the group is going to be open for the next 10 years so we're going to be using 10 years to write our um business plan all right and our vision statements so for the next 10 years where do you want to be where do you want your business to be where do you see yourself then your mission statement answers the question how how do you intend to embark on this you know it's like the senior brother of the objectives because the objective is where you break it down you break it down to your sales goals your product goals your employees goals your expansion goals all of that your marketing goals all that is under your mission statement can we rewatch this network is disturbing yes you can you can afterwards all right so all that will be in your mission statement then the next thing is your justification you need to answer the question why should you invest your time your money your energy into this business and if we are talking long term it means that you want this business to be there if possible for your great grandchildren to be able to inherit don't ever think of a business that is for only you in the family you're not doing your family a favor think up a business that will still be there 10 20 30 40 50 years if possible 100 years from now now yes it is possible it is possible so many businesses have achieved such success and so can you all you need to do is keep improving your products daily regularly as much as possible and you'll see that you will still be relevant to the economy and to you know your target audience by that time can a vision change yes your vision can change in fact your entire business plan can be changed so that's why when you're writing your business plan you can do version one version two you know every time we learn something new there will be an update that's just the truth about about life you know so you cannot be stagnant you cannot say i've learned something new but since i did not write it in my first plan i'm leaving it like that no it's not going to work that way rather you have an updated version of your business plan okay 
so that I don't forget what I was saying. I talked about justification. I talked about your objective. Yeah, I was talking about your justification. You need to know why you're investing your money, time, and energy. Your investors will also want to know why they should invest their money into your business. And your employees, why should they waste their time coming to work every day? That is where your SWOT analysis comes in. What is your SWOT analysis? It is the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats that your business has. All right? If you sit back and analyze your business very well, you will see so many opportunities that you never thought of before. Yeah, the truth is, like, I didn't think of Female Billionaires by 40 Club at the beginning of the business. But opportunities keep coming. Every day, something new pops up, all right? So you can keep updating that as well. And even when you sit down and think, you would see the opportunities in it. Even when you check what your competitors are doing, you will still see things to add to your business. Now, you need to describe your business in your business plan. Has the business been registered? Um, who is the owner? Where is it located? What are the products and services? Um, who are your target audience? Who are your suppliers? Just a little, you know, a brief summary, um, three to five paragraphs about your business should be in your business description. Don't worry, we're, we're going to give you a template. You're going to write a business plan um, in, in one week, in like five days, so that I could review it for two days. All right? Then you talk about your business processes. This is where your, your business system comes in. All the processes involved in producing your product or services should be broken down. It would also help you calculate how much you need for your business because you know that, okay, Mr. A needs to do process B for me. Mr. C needs to do this for me. This material, I need this material to be able to execute this project. All that will now sum up to how much you need for your business. So you don't get stranded halfway through. Okay? Then you also break it down to the people responsible for all of this. Who is going to handle these processes like I told you before. All that should be in your business plan. Wow. We have gone um, 33 minutes. Okay, just give me a few minutes. I'll round up. I'm, I know everybody's busy. All right. Um... Okay, it's the same questions. Okay, so as I was saying, then we talk about your marketing plan. You need to have a marketing strategy. You have an awesome product. What's the plan on getting it out there? If you have the best product in the world and nobody is interested in buying your product or nobody is aware that your product exists, you're as good as someone who doesn't have a product. So while you're thinking up a great product for your business, you should also be thinking up how to get people to buy your products okay so you can put up your online strategies you put on your offline strategies how have you been marketing this and how do you intend to go about it from now on right and who are your target audience you need to be able to identify and define your target audience right who are the people that have been buying from you before can you classify them according to their age location religion interest hobby businesses or income you know and um, and all of that can you define your target audience so that you can now think of how to duplicate this who else has these characteristics that i can market my products to let me give you an example if i'm marketing um female billionaires um by 40 club i won't go and meet a man except i know he has a wife and I, he can talk to his wife right i wouldn't go and meet an elderly woman because i know that that's not my target so you need to be able to break it down even including gender age who are the people that buy from you if i had done male billionaires club i would have so been on my own because i had to identify who are the people who are my target audience who are the people that patronize me the most this is how you form your marketing plan all right what quantity of products will you give mr a or do you intend to sell to mr a what kind of products do you intend to sell to this supplier or that supplier? You need to be specific about it. Don't worry, I'm going to give you a template like I said before. Then you move to your financial plans. You need to know how much 
you need to start up a business. That's where your checklist come in. What are all the items you need to start up your business? Your employees, the raw materials, you know, the rent money, your personal costs, your utility bills, all of that should be written down in your checklist. Then you need to know if you're making profit or not. That is, you identify all your costs and identify how much you sell your products and how many products you sell monthly and yearly so that you can now say, okay, this is how much I sell on a monthly basis. These are my expenses on a monthly basis. Therefore, my profit is my income minus my expenses, all right? And then you minus your tax. And then you have your cash flow, the amount of money that comes into your business and goes out of your business. All these are included in your financial plan. It is important. And then we have your risk management plan. What are the risks involved in your business? Something happened <laughs> last week. I, I was crying. My friend Shea was like, ah, Tessie, I've never seen you cry before. Someone hacked into the club. Those who joined you know, earlier know what happened. And they were like, what happened? I was like, I didn't put it in my risk plan. No, I didn't. So many things can happen in your business that can go wrong if you do not have a plan on how to tackle the risk and think up all the risk that might be involved in your business okay and then the last but not the least is your implementation plan now that that's a part of everybody's business plan that i want to see all right after you write your business plan i need you to go back to your objectives and write out 30 activities you can perform in 30 days to you know help you achieve your long-term objective which will still be broken down to short-term objectives so it is important you have a business plan that will help you that will guide you in the right path you know to be able to achieve success in your business so for the next four weeks we are implementing activities that will help us build a solid foundation for our business whether you've been in business for two years for three years for one month all of us are still in the startup stage and we need to implement these activities. So don't feel that you are an oldie and you don't need to do these things. All right, except your business is achieving success. So you don't even need to be here. In fact, you need to mentor us, <laughs> you know. So I think that'll be all for now. Um, is there any other thing I want to say? I think I just want to say that um, you will need to download Zoom. That's where we'll be holding our trainings from now on, all right? You need, um, you'll be getting a three minutes video every day for the challenge, apart from the training, because you, 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 you need to understand activities you're supposed to perform every day in your business. So you will get a three minutes video just telling you what to do, and then you report back, all right? And then, um, yeah, the challenge is for two weeks every month. The training is for a day, two weeks challenge, so we can have other time to do other things in our businesses. Do we have any question? How do we get the templates? Once you're a member of the club, you will get the um, the templates. Um, I'll post it on the group page and I'll also share it to your emails as soon as I get your emails. I'll be getting that very soon. I'll be asking for everybody's emails so that I can forward um, information there so that it can be there like permanently, you know, because in the group anything can happen. So. You can misplace it. So many people can say lots of things and then you start looking for what was posted there. So I need your email addresses to be able to do that. So I'll get all of that on the group. Do we have any other question? Do we have any other question? Let me check. Wow, this is so filled. I'm so glad all of you could make it really and I don't want to waste your time any further. I am so grateful. Alright, so thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Inkechi, you're super excited. How do you become a member? Just click on the link on my bios or send me a private message after this um, live show. So I can send you a link. You just need to download Telegram. So you click on the link and then you, uh, you become a member of the group. Alright, so... 
um, it's free for two weeks. That's just it. Um, maybe I should wait for one more minute in case there's any other question. All right, I think that'll be all for now. If you have any other question, um, you can you can ask me questions in the group. Thanks a lot. This was helpful. I learned a lot. I'm glad you were able to, and thank you so much for showing up. It was not easy, I can imagine, but you're here all the same. Thank you. Thank you, Keeps Contour, too. All right, so have a nice day. I hope I'm going to see all of you here next Thursday because we have a live show every Thursday. It's called Business Moment with Tessie. So please invite all your friends who feel who you feel can um, benefit or gain from this. All right? Thank you so much. All right, ma. No problem. You could watch much later. It's going to be on my IGTV. I'm going to make sure I keep a record for everybody. So you can always come back to it. All right. Bye.